Autoradiography, a technique using X-ray film to visualize molecules or fragments of molecules that have been radioactively labeled. For example analysis of length and number of DNA fragments after separation from one another by a method, gel electrophoresis. In autoradiography the specimen itself is the source of radiation, which originates from radioactive material incorporated into it. This technique detects samples in two ways. Direct autoradiography. Indirect autoradiography. Direct autoradiography. Direct autoradiography is ideally suited for the detection of weak to medium strength beta emitting radionuclides, for example tritium, corobin 14. In this technique, the sample is placed in direct contact with the film. The radioactive emissions result in the development of black areas. Indirect autoradiography, detection of highly energetic bait particles, for example phosphorus-32, is not done suitably by direct autoradiography, because these emissions pass through and beyond the film, and a major part of the energy get wasted. In this technique, the beta particle energy is first converted to light by a scintillator, which then emits photons on exposure to photographic emulsion. principle. Autoradiography is based upon the ability of radioactive substances to expose the photographic film by ionizing it. In this technique a radioactive substance is put in direct contact with a thick layer of a photographic emulsion having gelatin substances and silver halide crystals. This emulsion differs from the standard photographic film in terms of having higher ratio of silver halide to gelatin. It is then left in dark for several days for proper exposure. The silver halide crystals are then exposed to the radiation which chemically converts silver halide into metallic silver giving a dark color band. The resulting radiography is viewed by electron microscope, electrophoresis, digital scanners etc. Methodology The radioactive sample is covered with a photographic emulsion. The radioactive part of the sample activates the silver halide crystals nearby. This results in reduction of silver ions to silver atom leaving dark color bands. The slide is then washed away by fixers to get insoluble silver atom only. The autoradiogram can further be viewed and observed under the microscope. Types of autoradiography Macroautoradiography Microautoradiography Macroautoradiography Procedure a radioactive tracer is introduced to an organism by ingestion or injection. Individual samples of tissue are removed and pressed directly against X-ray film for several days, to expose the film. Film is then developed and viewed by microscopy. Microautoradiography, a refinement of this methodology is called microautoradiography. This was developed for study of subcellular structures, for example DNA. Microautoradiography procedure 1. The cells are first incubated in nutrient solution containing molecules that have been labeled, usually with radioactive carbon, tritium, or phosphorus. 2. After a period of incubation, some cells are transferred to a glass slide. The slide is dipped into a liquid photographic emulsion containing light-sensitive silver bromide. 3. The slide is then placed in dark for several days for radioactive decay. The beta particles from tritium cause the photographic emulsion to become exposed. 4. The slide is then washed away by fixers to get insoluble silver atom only. Finally cells are examined with a microscope. This is the structure of procedure of microautoradiography. Applications To find and investigate the various properties of DNA To find the location and amount of particular substances within a cell including cell organelle, metabolites etc. Tissue localization of radioactive substance To find the site and performance of targeted drug 